Okay, now, I was thinking about what it is that I should prepare for lunch today, and I said to myself, hmm, I wonder if I should prepare this beautiful salmon that I had marinated in the fridge yesterday with all the sage and parsley and olives and stuff. And then I thought, nah, maybe I should probably go ahead and prepare some of this lock rock that, lamb rock that I got from next door, Island Flair Cooking School. But then I said to myself again, um, when the struggle on, you know, you can afford things like that. So, what we're going to be preparing today is the ultimate struggle food, chicken in the bag. Chicken in the bag, maybe maybe in the day, and you can't go to that little ghetto uh, um, chicken shack place that sells it real cheap. You know, the people who has that um, powerful way of seasoning the chicken with just salt and making it taste incredible. Yeah, Keats. Um, if you can't get that, maybe you want to go and knock up your own situation and make it a little bit sexier just in the event that you may be entertaining and balling on the budget. So what I'm going to do for you today is I'm going to show you how to make the ultimate chicken in the bag. This, uh, this, this is like, you know, this is like the go-to struggle meal. All right, so first thing we're going to do now, we're going to make the fries. Okay, I got some potatoes. I got, what, like potatoes for a dollar? I had the red skin potatoes because that was the only thing that was there at the time. Now listen, if you cannot make French fries, you you really have a situation going on. Probably you should go to the Island Flag Cooking School page and sign up for one of them classes. Maybe like the fight page, make get a recipe here or there, something like that. But you know, you especially somebody if you can't cook fries, because fries is just basically you taking the knife, cut the potato like so, you gotta make a little thing I'm because you know this is what you want first to make the little this right you slice that look like a matchstick okay yeah you mean yeah, mess that up right um I did some already because I didn't think it's actually well I still went through the whole thing anyway but um gonna take some of these throw them in the fryer I have a fryer now if you don't have a fryer you could probably do it in the frying pan like I usually do at home <laughs> in the pot um but I Set it to 350. If you're using a uh, pot on the stove, do you probably could do put the stove to like a medium high heat. Drop that. Now, with the thing with fries, we're gonna have to fry them twice because um, um the first one is basically to cook it a little bit to blanch it basically, and then the second one is to get it nice and stiff because if you if you eat it like that, it's gonna be kind of limp. It's not gonna have that wonderful, incredible, you know um. French fry takes and feel, but um, when you cook it the second time, it makes it nice and firm after you already cook it. You know, and nobody wants like old limp stuff inside their mouth, right? Right? You know, that's that's not what you want, right? You want a nice stiff, hard, firm fry that makes you feel like you know you're really special. That's, you know, other than that, you know, that's, that's sad. So what we're gonna do? Okay, we have the um that already then cut. So what I'm gonna do now? I'm gonna take some of this chicken. All right, I got the chicken breast. This chicken breast, I paid like, this was $1.15. I went back to the guys. I told them I want one breast. One. Just one. I didn't want the whole pack that was $3.71. I want one out of the three. Three was in the pack. I want one. And that is how much I paid. So now, with this one breast that I paid dollar something for, I'm going to cut this in half. And I bet you I'll be able to get two incredible portions out of this. So, um... And take that and butterfly that open like so. That's one part there. And take the other half and I'm making this little minor incision in here. And hold on. Make the little slit. The little slit. Call it a butterfly. Yeah. And this little other fat part here, I'm gonna make a little slit in there. Open that up a bit. Now you have two nice, beautiful, big pieces of chicken. How about that? Now we have our chicken. I'm gonna take some flour, sprinkle it in. No, that's a bad idea. Okay. Well, I might as well just leave it. Eh? Uh, sprinkle some flour in that bowl there. I'm gonna put that back there. All right. Flour. Now, do I have any, um, you know what, I'm going to season this flour too. Um, I'm going to season this flour with. This is going to be uh, the thing that this chicken is going to go into after it, after it comes out of there. After it 
finish beating it up because you know you have to beat the meat for a couple of minutes to get it nice and in the mood for the cooking. You know, that's like four plates of chicken basically. Uh, and I sprinkle a little bit of a curry powder on there, which is awesome. When that little hint of, of curryness, just a hint, just a dash, and I'm not currying the chicken, I'm putting a hint of curry. Now, I have here a little bit of a, I don't know if you can see that, I probably can. This is the Sexy Spice Mix. Yes, this is another one of the Island Flair Spices. Wow, that's good class. Um, so I'm going to put some Sexy Spice in there because this is the kind of stuff that really turns your mouth on. You want that nice, what does it say, a unique fusion of food, food gasm flavors that brings out sweet, warm, erotic flavors and dishes, creating the ultimate food gasm. What the hell wrote stuff like that? <laughs> Not me. Uh, I don't know. I'm too shy to put stuff like that on the bottle. Um, but what I'm going to do is shake some of that in there. You can get some of this um, down by the Island Flare Cooking School. Uh, that information is also on the Island Flare Cooking School uh, page on Facebook. So you can get the numbers and everything if you want to make your food taste like a chef because that's all that's it that makes you a chef right there the flavors make you a chef it's not about um just a bunch of salt and thing like that this actually brings out some incredible flavors in your food to make it even that more much more amazing now look this is why you need to invest in in one of these little fries you go to kelly's and pick up one of these um you know i wish they sell them to master technicians too, but you know, because they're some really good people as well. But I got this one at Kelly's. There you go. See that? French fries? Okay, they're nice and brown. Put them on the side. And what I'm gonna do, since I'm, um, it may take a minute or two to do what it is that we're doing here, I got some breadcrumbs. Sprinkle a little bit of breadcrumbs. See, I'm preparing everybody, you know? So this will be a nice flawless motion. Now, if you don't have any breadcrumbs, because I just went and I got some breadcrumbs. Um, so I mix the breadcrumb in with that because I want it lightly, like I want a bit more texture to it, you know? It's, it's like the difference between uh, a person that has no shape and a person with curves. When you add like the breadcrumbs and the sexy spice and stuff in it, it just gives it more body, it makes it more incredible. It makes you say, mm, mm, wow, that's, that's nice. You know what I mean, guys? You know what I mean, stuff that you get slapped for? Like, yeah, you get slapped for, man. So serious. Just looking, ah. Come on, man. Kill me. All right. So, um, where is that? Let me give myself a nice wipe. Because it is warm. Yeah. That's when you get a lot of wood around you. All right. So, we put that on the end. And we put this in the middle. Crack an egg. Uh, crack an egg. This is garbage. Okay. Put it there. And get a whisk that egg. Now, again, I I don't like to not have anything that does not have any taste, so I'll put a pinch of salt in there. And I'll even put a hint of the sexy spice in that as well. So every layer has flavor, you know? Everything about it is good, like you're not gonna say, oh, this is good, and that is good, but you know, no, this is all good. Like this, you can eat this right now, just with the sexy spice in the egg, just like that, raw. It'll be incredible. Mm -hmm. I think if you put this stuff inside salt water, it'd make it taste good even. Like that's how good it is. But enough about that. Um, where are we going? Where are we going? All right, I had this piece of fish in the fridge, and um, what I'm gonna do with the fish is basically, you know, I'm going to season it up and I'm seasoning it primarily because uh, it's been in the fridge for a minute and it's going to that point where it's almost not wanting to smell like that nice fresh salt water smell. It's starting to smell like a, a piece of bungee. So I'm going to sprinkle some salt on that. Just a little bit of salt on there. Uh-huh. And believe it or not, um, I'll take that, rub that in for a second now. Rub, 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 rub. And after I rub that in this, rub it all up in the crease. That's that you call that the crease. 
Uh, gonna dip this in the egg and gonna dip that in the flour. Now this is just like basically a bonus recipe, something that you didn't really bargain for, but you're gonna get it anyway, just because. So uh, top, 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 more tops, more tops, tops, and I'll just drop that in the fryer. Now, there you go. Now, somebody may, home, may be home thinking, like, are you going to fry that in the seam oil? Hell yeah, I'm going to fry it in the seam oil. Um, you know, usually when you go uh, down by Keats, well, or I'll call the people name. Usually when you go by some of these other restaurants on the island, maybe not Keats, right? You know, they probably go ahead and scoop out the roaches or they'll be fried fry before you come in. So, me frying these two things together ain't kill nobody, not even me. Um, the next step, what am I going to do? What am I looking for? I'm looking for a meat mallet. Now, what I'm going to do with the meat mallet is quite simple. Meat mallet. All right. Now, you have three different size meat mallets. Um, this one is a small one. This one is like a medium one. This one is one that I use in case somebody breaks in the house or something. Um, so, which one of these you want to go with? You want the small one, the medium one, or the really big one? Now, ladies, if you said the really big one, you need to stop being nasty. That's just inappropriate. Um, size really doesn't matter. All of them are going to do the job. That's what I say. Um, so, hmm. Hmm. I'm going to take a piece of this plastic here. And going to put the plastic over there. And go ahead and do some cleaning. Now, like I said, you want to take some time and beat your meat. And this will actually get it all around. You see it gets much bigger after you beat it. Okay, so this is good for you. So I'm going to beat it for a few minutes. After beating, After this has been thoroughly beaten, just checking on that. So you beat it for a few minutes. Then what you're gonna do? You're gonna take this uh, salt. Uh, now this is actually some pepper. And take some pepper. Pepper. You're gonna take some salt. Sprinkle that salt on there. And um, we're going to do the same thing, uh, do the same thing on the other side. Okay, some salt, some pepper. Now we wouldn't need to put any other spice on that because, you know, the sexy spice is really that powerful. And, um... um What you want to do, you want to take a couple of seconds as well and kind of massage this into the meat. You know, like pretend like you're just giving it a nice chicken massage. Yes. Right. Now we're getting the chicken all comfortable. Yes, chicken actually really loves this kind of stuff. So you rub that in. You know, even if you can't do a massage, just pretend that you could. You know, like how most of you guys do when you meet a new girl. You're like, oh, give me a massage. Like, you know anything about massages. Um... Okay, let us get in there. Um, there you go. And don't think for a second, I don't know how to do this, the pepper and the and, uh, and, uh, salt thing. I can do that, but eh, not that right. Um, gonna tap, tap. Gonna put that first one in. Believe it or not. I'm gonna season this one here. And put that in that flour there. Flip that over like so. Flip that over again, flip it over, flip it, flip it, tap it, yeah, it up. tap it, tap it, tap it. Oh, you can't see that in, sorry. You're gonna put that in the flour, yes. The little flour and breadcrumb, the mixture, you can barely see the breadcrumb in there. That's how fine it is. So if you don't have um, these kind of breadcrumbs, what you could do, maybe if you have some old bread at home, you just get your old bread and grind it to pieces. And then I mean, until it's like really fine, just grind it to powder, just try to 
grind it. Get a load of it, all right? And then once it's like that, it'll, it'll go good with this. You could put a little bit of the same stuff that we had in it, a little bit of the salt, a little bit of the, um, um, a little bit of the, a little bit of salt and a little bit of the sexy spice, yes, if you have it. So, now that is thoroughly done. What we're gonna do, we're gonna take this out. Looks like a happy fish, doesn't it? She that? She that? See that happy fish? See that? Nice and brown and yummy. Oh, oh, and all of those little buds and stuff on it. That's like yumminess what you're looking at, looking at right now. Okay. All right. Fish is happy. As the fish is happy, I am happy. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna take this chicken, drop both of the birds in the fryer. Move this stuff out of the way. Uh, who's that? I am filming. I can't answer the door. All right. So once that is done. We're going to take this, move that there, put this, put this here, put this, put this there, and this is some plates. And um, the chicken actually is going to cook um, pretty quickly. And so, in the mind, in the meantime, what we'll do, we'll prepare our bag. Two of these. Yeah, I thought I was joking, huh? I'm actually gonna put it in the bag. Alright, chicken come on. Now, like I said, we're gonna let that cook for probably about um, a minute because nobody wants to get sick from chicken. Oh, well, that's fine. That reminds me of something. You know, one of my friends, he was here the other day, he was telling me. Um, that I had a container of water outside, and he was like, "Why well, you got this container of water outside? You ain't scared of catching uh, chicken gonorrhea?" And I was like, "Chicken gonorrhea? Chicken's giving you gonorrhea now?" And he's like, "Yeah, man, you didn't hear on the news, like, you know, that's a mosquito. They um, um they biting you and giving you chicken gonorrhea." So let's just make sure that our chicken is safe. Nobody wants to catch, you know, you telling your telling your boyfriend. No, I can't. Gonorrhea from that chicken you gave me the other day. Like, oh. oh, nobody wants to hear that story at all. So, our chicken is just about finished, so I'm gonna drop these fries in there. Oh, a couple extra tried to get away. Alright. So, fries are frying, chicken also cooking. So in the meantime, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this beautiful fish that we made. See that? See that? You see how I just... Yeah, that's... That's, a, that's real special. It's like, look at that. Yeah. Look at me. That's what that fish is saying. So, that's the fish. And this should be done. Chicken. Yes, okay. Look at that. You tell me that's not enough. You know what I mean? So, if you used to buy your junglers, uh, well, let me not say that. Yeah. Alright, so you get chicken there, you get your fries, pull that up in a nice bowl. And you put that on the bag. Okay. Now, to some people, that may look like, hmm, you got a greasy bag on top of the plate, but to the other person, that's love. 
that's the language of love right there. All right, let's move this one on the side. So far as one side of that. And this one took a little bit longer than I thought it would, but at the end of the day, you have got your, so let's make this. And there. Okay. Right. It. And they call it couple year. Special paper bag thing. Okay. Now if you want to make this extra special, what you do you can go ahead and put some onion on there. Yeah. And maybe squeeze some lime on there. Some onion, some lime. Ooh, that was powerful. You can squeeze some of that on your fish as well. Lime, lime it up. All right. Some onion. Okay. And then you can loss it with your mayonnaise and your ketchup and stuff like that and beat it back. And I'm talking about the chicken, of course. Okay, let's look at that again. See that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, come back. Yeah, delicious. Like that. Mm. Well, you can see it now. Chicken in the bag. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Did you see it? Yeah. See it? There it is. Ah, there it is. There's the fish. Why? And, as always, Oh, I'll go ahead, and I wouldn't even put all that other yummy stuff on there, but I'm going to take off a piece of this. Let's break off a piece there, nice, beautiful, delicious white chicken meat. Delicious french fries. Um, if you're anything like me, I believe ketchup is the, oh man, yeah, there you go. Let it cool next time for. Go to the I can get that right now. 